It's your boy Zotastic back again with another dope game. Yo, this game just came out yesterday. Transformers Earth Wars. Yo, I sat down and played it for a little bit. I was watching my dude Apoc stream on Twitch last night. I was like, yo, this game looks super cool. Cause I, I mean, I'm a fan of real-time strategy games on the mobile um, on the mobile genre. Uh, it's just that most of the time, when you get so far, when you progress so far. It just starts to take forever. And me, I get extremely distracted. I switched to like five different games. And I just basically just dropped this. So, here I am, starting anew on Transformers Earth Wars. It's not taking me very long at all right now. Uh, but I'm assuming that eventually down the road, it will take a while. Like a week or so to build some of these buildings and stuff. Uh, but so far, I'm loving it. It's beautiful. It plays so smoothly. Um, you know, you have a, a, a huge variety of Transformers that you'll get to see throughout the gameplay. You get to choose from the start whether you want to be an Autobot or a Decepticon, right? I actually decided to go on the dark side and stick with the Decepticon, right? So, first of all, let me go ahead and show y'all what... What uh what Decepticons are uh, you know available down the road? Some that you can pretty much unlock later on, right? So I'm not gonna read every single one off because there are oh my goodness because there are um 80. <laughs> so I'm not gonna read off every single one, but it starts off from the top to the bottom, going the highest ranks uh, Decepticons to the lowest ranks. Um, so if you've played some of these other, if you play some of these other like rank style games where you might have a crew of maybe five, six, maybe even four characters, champions. I remember there was like, um, Marvel Alliance on, uh, what's it got on mobile? You had like three or four champions, right? And each one over time you can rank up. And as you rank them up, their stars will increase and all that stuff. So that's the that's the same type deal here. Based on the stars is based on the ranking or, or the epicness, you know. So going from four stars all the way down to one star, you see not only do they have a ridiculous amount of Decepticons, but they also have different classes. They have a different variety of these types, right? So you see the tank icon. The, uh, the, I mean the shield icon, you have the uh, airship icon, you have the uh, aim radical icon, and you have what looks to be a medic, uh, a medic kit, a medic kit uh, icon, right? Um, obviously the medic kit, uh, I would assume that it is to uh, repair or support your other few Decepticons on the battlefield. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what that looks like down the road. And then the radical. I'm assuming it has really high DPS. I don't have one yet. Right now, all I have is the tank. I have a special, which is Megatron, and I have my aerials. Right. I'll go ahead and show you my current team. Right now, I have Megatron. All right. Let's see if we can zoom in on them real fast. All right, so we have Megatron. And see, so you could you could go ahead and hit that rotation. Your Megatron looks sexy, man. Um, I believe he has the tank. Um, you know, he, he has the tank. You know, switcheroo. See, you can zoom in. Oh snap! Yeah, that's kind of dope. I do Meg. I do Megatron look clean. So we got Megatron. We got Bludgeon. Who's just a massive tank, right? Um, I think he uses his sword, his like samurai type sword. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. All right, and then we have well, Star Scream, which is a DPS, but he has his special is uh, an aerial special. So he'll go flying around and just start dropping nukes on cats. Same thing with Thundercracker, except his aerial move is a stun. I would like to try getting as many stun or crowd control type specials in a team. 
but of course it's gonna take me unlocking it but now to unlock more Decepticons you have to spend uh, what they call oh, look no I'm looking at the wrong one uh, you have to spend what they call crystals right you have to spend these crystals to get more uh, to unlock new Decepticons so uh, right here you will get your crystals and once it says you have one crystal it'll be like yo spend this crystal and go ahead and go get you a Decepticon um, so you just have to you have to either wait over time or of course buy it with some of these uh, what's it called the cyber coins so while I'm looking at the cyber coins I'm gonna go ahead and go over the HUD right so we have cyber coins which are your um, in-app purchase um, currency right so you go into the Apple Store or Google Play you go into there and you buy these cyber coins which you use as a currency in game to buy your packs um, or speed up your you know um, repairs on your uh, or your um, your transformers after a battle uh, so you can also use them to buy resources down the road you also have your oh look you also have your alloys your alloys are I, I like how in this game to build buildings or upgrade buildings it uses both resources it doesn't just use one on your defenses now when it comes down to your resources it only takes one so or one type um, it takes the opposite type so if you t if you wanted to level up your alloy harvester then you of course would need to grab you some energon right um, so so I'm gonna go ahead and read this off energon use energon to upgrade buildings and Decepticons obtain energon from energon harvesters and by attacking Autobots okay so as you go through and you dominate everybody's <laughs> bases you'll obtain um, that resource is on top of your resource collect your resource collector. Now alloys use alloy to upgrade defenses, gain alloy from alloy harvesters, and from attacking other players. Same thing. You go into their base, you smash the harvesters. If you don't think you can win, if you don't think you can hit the headquarters and take that out to get all of the um, resources, and you decide to go straight for the alloy harvester, this is what you're gonna pick up. Um, and of course you can get more if you spend your cyber coins now over here we have your level your player rank um, you earn that rank by upgrading your buildings and uh, you know building up your new buildings um, you can also earn rank points by researching you can research your troops you can or <laughs> research your transformers to get um, obviously stronger they get super swole and just start nuking everything or become just massively tanky over time. Uh, but it does cost a bit um, to upgrade these. Now you have your medals. Your medals go towards your ranking, right? Your As you win, as you complete and destroy these bases, you get medals in uh, return. Now, of course, if, if, the game dis if the game thinks that you don't deserve say 20 medals and instead you get uh, and they offer you five medals off of a base but on the other side if you lose you lose like 21 medals it's saying okay yo squad you have extremely you have a really strong squad and their ranking is extremely high so for that base that you're rating so if they expect you to go through and wipe them out then of course you the people the, the other side your opponent shouldn't lose 21 medals if they lost to somebody that was supposed to shred them anyway right so as your medals increase your ranking increases I'll go ahead and show you the current ladder so number one we have Ultima with 6550 medals uh, Nat Salmon <laughs> with uh, 6363 these guys have a ridiculous amount um, Stella with 6,243, DJ Meltdown 6,003, and Blackout with 5,860. 
Now you're looking at me, who's in 20,985th place with 140 medals. Um, so as you get those medals, you up, uh, you go up in the ladders. I don't know if you get rewarded for being in a specific uh, area in the rankings or anything. I don't know if you get rewarded uh, bonus rewards or anything from attacking or whatever. Uh, I've showed you the team. And then you have the menu. You, I mean, you can go through and look through all of your achievements. And as you gain these achievements, you can pick up your uh, cyber coins. Now, what I'm doing is I'm saving up my cyber coins so that I can get another build bot. So I can keep on building uh, these, building and upgrading my uh, buildings as I'm going through without waiting on bots like I'm doing right now. Um. Well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not waiting on a bot. I have a free bot, but say I have two bots going at the same time, that extra one would go extremely well. Uh, that would be an extremely huge benefit for me. That way I can hurry up and max out my um, headquarters, all my buildings within the headquarters level. All right, and then we got, what else? We got the inventory, um, your edit mode which makes it extremely easy for a layout of a base that you really want uh, that you think will be best for defending now what I actually ended up doing was that I visited someone's base in uh, the higher ladders to figure out how they're setting up their defenses to see how uh, they're holding it down then you got your battle history that's just gonna that's just your log of all your attacks all your defenses I have a lot of victories but that's only because I'm playing against people that um, I'm playing against people who are significantly lower in medal counts. So that's why you see the last raid that I did only gave me two medals. Right? Uh, my defenses, I, I haven't had to defend yet. Then you have your community where you can come through here and you can follow. Um, you can follow. Um, what's it called? Space 8 Games. And you can figure out who they're advertising, who's the, who they're sponsoring or whose uh, streams or YouTube videos or whatever they're sharing to kind of get you plugged into the community, which is actually really cool. I like that they have this uh, set up as a link within the game. Um, and then you have your knowledge base. It's basic. Um, close. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Yeah, then you have your knowledge base, your feedback, uh, where you could probably just rate the game on in the app store. Then you have your settings. Uh, you can you get one name change, by the way. Uh, so whenever you first make your account, don't feel like you're stuck, you're trapped by that name that you start off with, because it'll start off with your. Uh, for since I'm using Apple, I uh, I got my Game Center name. So uh, it'll, it'll start you off with your Game Center name. You can come in and change your name at any point in time. But you only get one. You only get one name change, so you can change that to whatever you please, uh, assuming that it's it's matching their um, community standards. All right, so now I showed you a little bit. Oh, I, I missed a couple things. Um, yo, the fuel cells. So for your fuel cells, you you have to spend these few uh, fuel cells to battle to attack. You don't have to spend money, you don't have to spend your alloy, your um, energons to battle. But you have to spend these fuel cells. Um, this is a way to kind of limit your progression um, to where you can only... How do I put it? So after you run out, you just can't, you can't raid any bases. You can't continue to level up your, um, your Autobots or Decepticons. Um, but within the meantime, you can collect from your uh, how, your harvesters and your um, actually are they both called harvesters? Yeah, from both you can collect from your harvesters and uh, continue to upgrade and stuff whenever you can. Now we have the alliance menu. I'm super broke right now, so I can't set up my I can't create my own alliance. I went ahead and joined some random alliance. Uh, just to see what it was and they offer you cyber coins whenever you join an alliance for the first time now on the left side we see uh, our 
the current clan that I'm in is in Junkie League, right? Or Junkie Island League. I have no idea how it's going. But, um, but that right there is just a way to start up battles against other clans. It's like Clan Wars and Clash. Then you have Alliance roles. View and manage the Alliance Commander and Officer, uh, officer roles. So, um, right now, there are no people that have officer roles or we only have one commander. It's a really small, it's a really small alliance. I think they, uh, I think they just like went ahead and made one for, uh, and, and left it open for whoever wanted to join every time for the free. Um, your alliance profile. The alliance that I'm in is UHSF right now. But that is definitely going to change whenever I create my own uh, alliance. And I'll let y'all know what it is. And then, right, I guess right now, total, we have 429 uh, medals. And then you can view the leaderboard to, to see how they rank each and uh, each of us. And by that, it's going by medal counts. Um, I think one thing that would be really cool about being in a, like, showing your leaderboards in the clan is showing... Or the alliance is showing um, how much no not how much time they put in but when was the last time that they played right when, when was the last login I think that would be a huge bonus for uh, people who manage these alliances because really it, it's difficult to know who's active and who's inactive in these alliances and so over time you just have a lot of dead just dead weight in your alliance I can speak, I can definitely speak for a lot of streamers, right? Um, a lot of streamers, a lot of YouTubers and stuff like that. Any con any content creator, um, they, they, they might have a rough time finding out, okay, who's active, who's been inactive. I have more people in my stream, I have more people in my uh, YouTube uh, subscription list or whatever that really want to join my clan, but I don't have space because I have people holding dead weight and they have no idea, like we have no idea as to when was their last login so we can just start kicking these people out you know what I'm saying so we can create some space and then yeah I just showed you guys the leaderboard all right then we have your build menu oh man so over here on the left you can buy you can buy um let me see. Let, let, let's see what it's asking for to buy. All right. So here you can buy your premium crystal to get you a, a two star or greater Decepticon. Yo, that's dope. That's super dope. And then we got your three star crystal, your four star crystal, your two star crystal. All those are to get um, the 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 star count type of Decep uh, Decepticon or Autobot, uh, whatever Transformer is gonna be. But your free crystals will get you your one star. Um, Transformers. All right, then we have your utility buildings. Utility. Okay, there we go. Your utility buildings. I can't wait to go ahead and get that build bot. Uh, you can have a max of five. So I'm just saving up all of my cyber coins to get those build bots. Um, then you have your space bridge, your scanner, research lab, energon harvester, uh, energon storage, alloy harvester, alloy storage. So these are. These are all the utility buildings, um, but of course they'll they'll be unlocked. The upgrades will be unlocked, and uh, more you can place more as you continue on and go through the game. Uh, they'll probably release new utility buildings as we go through too. Uh, then we have the defense, right? We have walls, auto cannons, Decepticon outposts, laser turret, mortar, stasis mine, beam laser, uh, shock tower, and missile launcher. Yeah, those muggies look clean. And then resources, you can come through here and buy your resources with your cyber, um, your cyber coins. 90% uh, alloy fill and 90% energon fill, and then it goes down from there. And then crystal, uh, crystals, we already saw those, and cyber coins. Um, th this is the pricing on the cyber coins. For 1,000, you have $5. 2,300, you have $10. Mega value pack at 5,000 cyber coins for $20. Then you have, and as we go up, it, the uh, price per coin starts to drop. 
Then we have Colossal Value Pack with 11,000. Um, for $40, Ultra Value Pack with 30,000 Cyber Coins for $100 for the Young Hundo. All right, and so that's, that's basically all the HUD. And then over here at the top right, you know, just below the Cyber Coins, you have basically like your advertising, your, your, um, your event, your event um, notification. So if, if I tap on it, this is your news. So right now it says the battle for Earth has begun. Transformers Earth Wars is now available worldwide. This was released yesterday once again. Inspire your Autobots, rally your Decepticons. The fight for planet Earth has started. Yo, I'm about to take over. I'm ready to dominate for real, for real. Let's get it. Invite your friends, join an alliance, and choose to protect or ravage Earth. Yo, I'm gonna make the alliance, right? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the alliance. It's gonna be called the Z Squad. I might have to change it to Z Squad 9000 or something, cause you know our power level level 9000. But odds are there's probably already another Z Squad out there. Uh, then we have this news. Um, vote for Earth's fate. Hashtag Earth's fate. So they do have a Twitter account. You can go on a hashtag uh, Earth's fate and take a screenshot of you playing the game you playing this game um and show show it to the world that you are dominating or you can show it to the world that you just got gypped you got wrecked in a freaking battle and you thought you were about to come out you know super swole super stacked on guap but then you ended up getting wrecked by a mortar last minute uh so so i'm gonna go ahead and read it for you is sound wave superior and shockwave inferior let us know who's the best by hitting the button below. Following us on the in, following us on Instagram and commenting on our latest post. All right, so comment on the latest post and follow them on Instagram. All right, remember to vote on our posts on Facebook and Twitter too, as each vote counts towards your chances of winning prizes in our sweepstakes pool. Yeah, that's OP. I uh, I need to go ahead and jump on that actually. I would love to win some of that stuff. Then we have Win Energon and Alloy. So I just told you guys that you can get 90% uh, storage fill of Alloy and Energon by spending Cyber Coins. Uh, this right here is an opportunity to get that for the free though. Alright. So 50% of your maximum Energon or Alloy capacity for free. Yo, that's my favorite price, baby. Over 24 hours, we'll be awarding Energon and Alloy boosts hourly. My God. Simply tweet us pictures of yourself playing Transformers Earth Wars using hashtag Earth's Fate. Not only that, but each time you enter, you'll be entered into a sweepstake for a Victorian box set too. Good luck and we look forward to seeing your pictures. My goodness. Yo, I need to go ahead and take a snapshot right now. Let's go. Yo, it's going to be in my base. I'm like, y'all, I know y'all want to copy my base layout. My base layout looking sexy right now. I'm just playing. This is probably trash. I've never even had to defend yet, so we're gonna find out. I'm probably gonna get wrecked. <laughs> All right. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video now. Uh, next up, I'll show you guys um, how to raid, how to get that guap, how to get that paper. All right. Uh, Till next time, deuces. Let's get it.